The new year and a new version of my little video player. First of all, I've updated the icon a little bit. I made it a little bit shinier, a little bit glossier, so that it fits with the rest of the icon. So it has a nice color gradient now, and it is using an SVG uh, graphic as, as a base for, for this uh, icon. So you can easily update this one. So the first thing that I will uh, show you now is an update of the Search YouTube plugin. So Search YouTube now works just like expected in the previous version, but it now won't interfere, the, the results page won't interfere with scrolling as you can see here, because we, I, I simply disabled the, um, the scaling of the page. So you will have a smaller results page smaller font in the results page but it won't interfere with scrolling and with the especially with the right and and back uh, backwards scrolling and swiping uh, and you can of course hit the results hit play and it will then play back uh, the video if you have a fast internet connection it will of course play back a little bit faster than here uh, but i'm now on a slow connection 3G, so that's one of the reasons it's a little bit slower. What I can show you is another cool feature. If you now tap anywhere on the screen, if the reader is running or not, it will show or it will bring up the controls. So you can see the um, uh, the uh, the timeline. Basically, you can swipe through the timeline, and you get error messages like connection terminated unexpectedly because uh, simply Wi-Fi is not here. Only 3G available. Uh, one of the <laughs> reasons I cannot play back YouTube videos. What I can do is just simply go back, go back, go back and open up a URL. That can sh show you a nice, nice another feature. First of all, it will open up the uh, lastly loaded video in the open URL uh, dialog. So if you have just mistakenly typing uh, typed in something or missed an uh, missed a letter or something for for a video file you can just simply uh, correct this and hit enter again to load the URL and I introduced a history a history of the last 10 uh, played back or loaded um, media files and I can just simply open up one just like for example this one it will then load in here click on load URL click on play you can see the video playing back and the nice thing about the controls is that it will not only show the controls for playback and for the timeline the timeline can of course swipe now when while the video is running I can hit pause if I want to but also the page indicator hides when I hide the controls as you can see so you will get the full experience of your video file if you'd like to so this is a nice addition, addition I think and yeah, the next thing that I did was uh, introducing uh, cover actions. So first of all, in cover action, you will see for the time being only in video icon now, if you play back a video, and you have the play option and you have to see the file name if there's no title or artist available. You can play it back here by swiping. You might hear it in the background perhaps. It's playing back the uh, the video file and click on here you can see it's really playing back the video file um, a nice cool thing is if you open up uh, audio files just let me search for an audio file uh, when you hit on play it will then show a nice little uh, icon and then music icon basically and this icon will also show in the cover view together with the artist's name and the title and you can of course pause and play the audio file if you'd like to which is pretty nice i think then the next thing is that i also introduced the file details page so when you have a file loaded if you swipe from right to left it will go to the files details page where you can see the file name or the file path in this case, the title, the artist, a video codec, if you have a video loaded, resolution, video bitrate, frame rate, audio codec, uh, and so on. And uh, in this case, it failed to get the audio codec of this uh, mp3 file. So uh, this is also, I think, a limitation of the GStreamer backend, which uh, simply cannot grab all the metadata files, uh, all the metadata mm, from the files. 
and there's also a limitation when it comes to um, 4.3 uh, aspect ratio videos that you want to scale up on onto the 16 by 9 aspect ratio of the of the device it just does not work because it's not implemented into the gstreamer video output there is the normal qt5 video output that supports this with full mode but this uh, normal video output only supports i think the open source video codecs so you'll stuck with them so i just simply uh left uh left the uh, gstreamer video output here so uh, you have the the, the better um, uh, support for codecs but you won't, won't get the fill mode for 4.3 aspect ratio videos to scale up and and cut the video a bummer but uh, we have to wait for gstreamer update for 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 this uh, feature to come so the next thing that i did is um, uh, a pretty easy done job but with with uh, consequences let me open up the terminal. You can see here that you can now type in the uh, Harbor Video Player and then a URL, for example, for YouTube or a file URL, an MMS URL, an, an, an RTSP link or something like this and hit enter and it will then just simply, uh, let me just close the one here. It will simply up, um, uh, open up the video player with this uh, URL. It also works with file URLs, of course, and you can hit play. And I hope you will see now. I don't know what, what this video is about, but it will normally should load then the video. But I'm on 3G again. It won't load. Uh, but it will work also in the file manager now, as you can, um, or as I just simply re registered the video player as a media player for music files and for uh, video files, of course. And if you have the Jolla fileman installed, it supports opening up uh, files via XDG open. So the normal file type or MIME type opening uh, stuff. And if I just simply go to my data directory, mm, SD card, video, and open up this video, or click on open here, it will then load the video player with uh, the file and then can hit play and it plays back the file, which is pretty nice. So you have the MIME type integration now and you can, uh, if you want to write your own applications that want to play videos or something like this, if you want to write your own web browser, have an RTSP link, catch this RTSP link, and then you can just simply um, use an XDG open command and it will then launch the video player. If someone else codes, codes, codes a better video player, you can just simply um, and then uh, change the MIME types and then use the new video player. So this is basically everything for this little New Year's update of my video player. I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, thanks for watching.